Broken walls, white and roofless homes, signs of the recent crisis in Malunje village, evidence the rift between farmers and herders which has been developing silently across Bochi state. These residents remain indoors, unsure of what to expect. The problem appears to be rooted in land use. The State Commissioner of Police, Lowell Jimita, visited the conflict zone to assess the situation firsthand. The contention was over this land, which was designated as farmlands by local government authorities, but herders claimed was cattle roads. Here, we are trying to see that at least uh, communities go back to the way they live. And I believe when uh, government directives on land uh, issues are followed strictly, this type of incident will not happen. The communities are still counting their losses. I climbed the tree when the attackers came. That was how I escaped death and watched while others were being killed. Not less than 50 similar complaints have been brought to the table of the governor. He inaugurates this 22-member administrative committee of inquiry into land disputes to avert a future occurrence. I must say this is a very big task. This is the monster that is really deviling our common heritage and common existence as a country, as a state, and as a nation. And we must see this assignment as the remedy to all the banditry and criminality that is bedeviling us. The committee, among other things, is expected to investigate cases of uh, illegal land allocation, we'll identify those involved, cattle determine cattle routes within and outside the forest reserves, Thank and you. pattern of encroachment, suggest measures to be taken with a view to providing permanent solutions and sustain the relative peace enjoyed in the states. Hajira Aliyu, Channels Television News.